What up, people? You back with streets? Freestyle cooking. Got another quick video for y'all, cause you know I was on my way home from work today, and that's usually when I be thinking of what I'm gonna make for the night, and I just had a taste for some tuna, and I haven't had none in a while, so this is gonna be real easy, quick, simple, my style, my flow. Okay, so I'm not gonna talk y'all heads off. We're gonna get right into it. So everything I got, I got four cans of tuna right here and and light water you could use whatever kind of tuna you want albacore you know it's up to you got some mayo i'm going to add my chili pepper parsley and garlic seasoning to give it a little bit of flow i'm going to add that to it got some yellow mustard kosher salt I got some um, dill pickles. I didn't have any relish, so I had a little bit of dill pickles left. So I'm going to cut some of them up. Some black pepper. I got me some eggs I'm going to cut up. Some celery. Some yellow peppers and green pepper. My style. We're going we're gonna to get into it now. So first I'm going to uh, go ahead and start cutting up celery. You know, I want to get all this in before I put my seasonings in. I want to cut up my peppers. Get the celery cut up. And my tuna fish, it, it depends on how much you want. You know, I like mine's, I don't know. Uh, my bad people, got my food flying off the board. Um, my thing is, sometimes I like tuna fish that's like, you know, just on a calm. Sometimes I like it chunky with the vegetables and peppers. Sometimes I'm really fast and I'm just making it with some eggs and tuna and just something real quick. Because I'm, I got a taste for it. I do it like that too. But this one right here, I'm going to make nice and like a chunky, flavorful tuna fish. But you know, it's up to you, you know, however you like it. You know, I'm just sharing my recipe, my flow, what you want, you know, my style, freestyle cooking, you know, because everybody got their own way of how they make tuna fish, you know what I'm saying? Most of the ingredients are basically the same. I mean, just add your own little flavor to it and what you like and what you like to taste. So, here we go. I got my celery. I don't need it to be any finer than that. That's 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 good enough. Like I said, I want it like a chunky tuna fish where I'm tasting everything, peppers and everything. If you don't like your tuna that way, you ain't even got to do it. You could just put in a little bit of what you like or don't put in anything. You know? We're going the street style. You know, giving it a little bit of color too. So when I make this tuna fish sometimes and I make it for people or I'm having these people come over, it just looks pretty. People just want to eat it. Like, oh, tuna fish look good. So pretty. You know, people see that pretty food, they they willing to taste it. Like, oh, it just looks good. Peppers. Okay. A little bit of my green peppers. Nice and chunky. You know, but like I said, this is as much as you want or less. You could put less green peppers, less celery, or nothing at all. It's totally up to you. Okay. Now we're going to get my eggs going. 
Definitely want my eggs to be chunky. Keep the yolk inside. Like nice big pieces. Some like their eggs all diced up and smashed like mine chunky. You know, just giving the uh, tuna a different kind of flow and style of its own. It's just like egg salad. Uh, sometimes I do the same thing with egg salad, chicken salad. I add a little, I always got to add my own little flair to it. Like I said, like the, in this tuna salad I'm making now, it's just going to be nice and chunky. Just real chunky tuna salad. Okay, take some of my pickles, cut a little bit of them up. Like I said, if you got relish, you can use relish. I didn't have no relish. So, I'm just cut up some of these dill pickles. Add them to the mix. You know, because this is what I had, so... This is what we got going on. Got more. Got a more. Okay. Figured I used the rest. Only had a little bit in there, so why not? Why not get the rest up in there? All right. Now we're gonna mix this up. Okay. I'm going to mix it up a little bit before I put my seasonings in. So I can get some of that tuna. I'm going to have everything piled on top of the tuna. There we go. Let's open it up a little bit. Now we're going to get my seasonings in there. Put some of my kosher salt. Go ahead and add some pepper. Put a lot of pepper. I, I just like a lot of pepper in my tuna. But you don't have to put as much as I put in there. The parsley and chili pepper flakes and garlic mix. Put that up in there. Alright, some mayo going. You know how much mayo is up to you? I don't like a lot of mayonnaise. I don't like my tuna like real creamy, but you know, to each his own. And some mustard up in there. Okay. I'm gonna get to mixing it on up. Yeah, some people like their tuna to be real creamy. I don't like my tuna real creamy. I just like enough mayonnaise where you know it's looking, you know, just enough where the tuna is not pink anymore, really. Just enough. I don't want it runny, but some people love it runny and, you know, flowing. You know, but how I'm doing it right now, it's just freestyle, the streets flow. Yeah, this is good. This is enough mayonnaise in there for me. I thought I might have had to add a little bit more, but you see how I like it. I like it nice and chunky. If you can see that, people. I like it nice and chunky. Nice and chunky. Okay. And then we got it all mixed up. There we go. Like I said, if you want to add a little bit more mayonnaise, you know, it's up to you. I kind of like it like where it's at right now. It's good to go. So, uh, maybe add a little bit more pepper because, like I said, I love pepper in my tuna. But you don't have to put a lot of pepper in your in I, I just love, you know what I mean? Alright, so now we're going to get some rolls. 
Get it on bread and get it plated up. All right, ready to get this tuna sandwich made. Now I got uh, some Kaiser rolls. You can use whatever bread. I toasted these. You know, I didn't show y'all that in the video because I said it was going to be quick. But I toasted them, so go ahead and get it together. Got some lettuce. Get some lettuce on there. Lettuce. Okay, got a tomato. Whoa, whoa, it's hot now. Got a tomato. Now, this is for the wife, so usually I put onions on mine. But you know, like all my videos, the wife don't eat the onions. Get us some tuna up on here. She loved the tuna too. Give her a nice little something, something on that. Okay. Go ahead, put a little bit of sweet paprika on there. That's going. That's going to give it a little bit of color. You know, so it look all pretty when she, you know, when I present her her dinner for the night. Yeah, put a little bit of color on there. Sweet paprika, banging. You'll see me in other videos where I'm using this. Okay, get our board. Board, hold up. Got some chips. Got some chips, but you know you can serve this with some fries. However you like. Put some chips on there. And there you go, people. Tuna salad sandwich. Done. Served with some chips on the toasted roll, Kaiser roll, bread, hoagie roll, whatever you want to use. Got the sweet paprika up on there, so when I show her, it's all pretty for her. Looking real good. Got me ready to eat the sandwich right now. But I ain't going to do that. It's for wifey. It's for wifey, so she nice and good. If you like it, let me know. Till the next time, people.